Greetings, everyone. Um, got my gun finally. Red 92. Thought I would talk about it. It's kind of unique in a few ways. Um, I wanted to get the reverse two tone with the black slide, but I couldn't find any. I've looked for like 10 hours or more looking around different stores. Uh, it's too late in the year to find them. Maybe next year I'll get one and maybe sell this one or do a wield akimbo style, something maybe. These stainless models, they're really weird. I've seen, most of them I've seen have like rubberized hoe grips. This one has the original black checkered Beretta grips like I like, which is pretty much why I got it. A lot of them you'll see with silver magazines at the bottom. This one's got the black, which the reverse two-tone has, which is why I liked it. So if I, somebody had like a black one, I could trade slides with them. Not sure how legal it is because it's like you're making a new firearm, sort of. Uh, it has been safety checked, so if I do anything weird, you don't have to freak out. Nothing in there. Uh, oh yeah. We'll see back with the magazines in. Um, one thing I noticed is kind of weird. When you have... Okay, let's say the safety's on, right? And also, when you keep your gun pointed in a safe direction, in the air is usually a safe direction, but not all the time because bullets come back down and hit you. Also, when you live in a basement apartment and the people up above you up is not a safe direction. But this gun is so so safe right now because I have no bullets at all. I don't own any bullets. I didn't buy any bullets for it. There's no bullets in the house to put in it, so it's as safe as you're going to get. So anyway, when okay your safety is on and you cock it. And the hammer is back because it automatically puts the hammer back when you cock it. If you were to release the slide, right, it's still like barely back and the hammer is still there. So just like nudging it or anything, like I don't have the hand on the trigger, right? Whoa, what just happened? Did it just go off and shoot? Maybe there was a bullet in the chamber and it just shot. But that's the thing about the Beretta safety. When you have the firing pin exposed and you put the safety on, it moves it so that it's gone by the time the hammer hits. There's nothing to hit. So, ultra safe. Look at that, it rolls back in its eyes. It's like, so even if there had been a bullet in the chamber, there's nothing you could do. One thing I thought was fucked up when I got it was this thing right here, which I think is the extractor. It looks bent. I thought maybe it was some kind of damage, but I think that's the indicator for when you have a bullet loaded, it pops this up and it makes it show like red. But it looks like the red's kind of wore off. You can't really see it. Maybe you got to repaint it or something. And also, at the top, this little roll pin or something in there it looks like it's kind of sideways, but I guess that's, the, that's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, uh, the Inox has red sights, which is not really that great. I'd rather have white or night sights or something, but here's what's weird about this. I don't know how the serial numbers work. I know in the USA versions, they all start with BER on the 92FS, I think, and then Italian ones I thought started with J. But then I found this one from like a Guns and Ammo magazine. It starts with L. See, looks just like mine. Exactly the same, except for the. You see here where it says Pietro Bretta Gardone VT made in Italy, and it's got uh, PB there. Mine has that. I don't know if you can see this, but like right underneath in relief. It also says Beretta USA Corp, ACKK, Maryland. So, yeah, this camera's not really good enough. But I have an M. You can't even see the M, really. This camera is shitty. But I've got an M serial number, and this is an L. So I'm thinking this came out a year after whenever this one was made. So, like, probably the J was the first year they made the Inox, probably, and then K and L and M. So this one's probably fairly new. This is probably when they added like the black magazines. Another thing is that it does these little proof mark stamps here in the back 
which they only do in foreign countries, so it proves that it was made in Italy, even though it says Berta USA Corp on the front. Well, it says Italy and USA, so... It's made in Italy, but somehow it got a USA imprint on it. And on this side, it has all the um, 9mm parabellum, warning or track slide to see if loaded, fires without magazine, read manual before use on dust cover. Now, I have seen some that don't have this fire without magazine warning, and I've seen some that have these proof marks right here on the trigger guard. So there's a lot of different variations. You get the magazine color, you get to where the proof mark is, you got the detail right here. Apparently you've got some that have USA, Beretta USA Corp on them. And you also have some with like the regular hoe grips, and you got some with like different kinds of screws. That's the thing about the M9s, they have like a really straight dust cover like this, where the 92 fs comes down a little bit like that. So you can tell the difference. And then you also have, I think, the Italian ones have these flat head screws, and the American ones have um, hex, hex screws, or some kind of weird screw. Anyway, it's pretty sick. I like it. Gets the job done, I suppose. I haven't shot it yet. Um, oh, here's a little trick I found out. I've always wondered, like in kung fu movies, when the guy disarms the guy with a gun by taking the slide down. One-handed, if that's possible. So check this out. Here's a guy pointing a gun at a guy. Here's a guy comes, grabs your gun, right? Just takes the slide off one-handed. How sick is that? You could disarm a dude easily just by one-handing, like. Let's see that again, right? Let's put it on fire. Okay. This guy's holding you at gunpoint, right? Kind of hard to do fast. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm pushing the wrong place. You kind of got to practice this this technique if you ever want to take down a gun. So you got to like have one thumb on this button here to push this in, and you take this down right here. Boom! Slide comes off. Disarmed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. One more time. Huh. Give me all your money. No. I'm taking your gun apart. Ha <laughs> ha. That was like two seconds. It's pretty fast. And then you're pulling the trigger and there's nothing there. Oh, another thing that I thought was a difference is that the Italian, I thought it had metal guide rods, but this is plastic. And it's supposed to be some kind of self-lubricating thing that constantly puts oil in it. I don't think that's true. Really mysterious, these different types of Berettas. Oh, this is pretty neat. Uh, over here is my case. A lot of the ones I've seen have like plastic cases that are all molded so the gun fits. Like there's no fuzz, just like the gun fits in the plastic case. And then there is uh, a slot over here for the magazine. There's like a manual and a cleaning kit that goes like down in here. This one doesn't have that. It's just like some fuzzy eggshell stuff. And I thought I didn't have a cleaning kit. And I just realized I opened this up and then there's a cleaning kit here. And a manual. But probably the last guy that bought this didn't even know it was here. Because it looks like nobody's even looked at it. Is this a manual? It's a warranty. Hmm. I'll have to check into this. I don't know. Pretty pimp. Didn't think I had a cleaning kit. But I do. I almost went out and bought one. Oh yeah, I got an extra magazine too. So you can like... Practice reloads. Pretty slick. Oh, it came with a gun lock. I don't know how this works. I know you're supposed to, like, maybe when you're transporting your gun around, have it locked in the back of your trunk or something. How does this work? It's just like a cord. But it's not a trigger lock. So what do you lock it to, a bicycle? Oh, it goes through the action, doesn't it? Take out the magazine, right? Put that through there. And you lock it like that. That way, action can't close. Ah, I see. Pimp. I've been practicing pulling the hammer back because it's kind of hard. Like one-handed, like you can barely get the hammer back. But if you whip it like that, oh, safety. You can cock it one-handed. Probably not very safe. 
back into a single action. Yeah, I dropped it a few times when I was getting the hang of it. But, ah, son of a bitch, that hurts. It seems like the hammer should come back farther where you can get a grip on it. Like, it's a really thick grip. A lot of people don't even like the grip on the Berettas, but two-handed it's not that bad, but I'm trying to one-hand it. Ha! Ah! That'll work. Take some practice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. If you catch it wrong on your thumb, it hurts your thumb. But anyway, pretty much been uh, familiarizing myself with the gun before I get any ammo and really start doing dangerous stuff. If you haven't seen my previous video, this target was not shot here in the house. It was at a range and I brought it and put it on the wall. That's not like accidental fires where I've just been blowing the hell out of a target on my wall. I still want to get a SIG 226. Probably combat or attack ops version. But the, um, how the hell does that go back in there? I was looking at the 250s and I think they're only double action. I don't really know how that works. It takes less pressure to pull the trigger, but it's like you can't hold the hammer back or the hammer doesn't stay back after you shoot. I've seen quite a few 250s that are a little bit cheaper than the 226s, I think. I don't think this lock works. It looks like it's locked and it just pops right out. Yeah, that's locked. Weird. So this has been a um, review of my Beretta. Not really a review, I'm just saying. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's got the Italy and the United States both. Maybe it's really valuable. Maybe somebody wants to pay me like a thousand bucks for this and I'll go get me a fucking an FNNP 45 or something like that. I kind of want one of those too.